Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to go over natural things that you can do to kill bugs in your home or natural pesticides, natural pest control. Um, and I'm going to give an example right now at the very beginning of the video. You don't have to wait. You don't have to watch to the end or whatever. And so this is one of the most most effective natural forms of pest control. There. Now, if you're not willing to swap bugs with your bare hands or step on foot bugs with your feet, um, that's natural pest control. The, the thing is, is natural that, let me explain. This video was actually inspired by a question I had on one of my uh, other videos, like on diatomaceous earth or whatever, which is the one that everybody loves to hate me because I try to explain to people that it's harmful to your health to put that stuff all around your house. Um, just because a pesticide is labeled as natural doesn't mean that it is somehow safe to use around you or your pets or your children. That's the important thing that I hope that you'll come away from this video understanding. Um, there are lots of things that are considered natural in the world that actually do harm people. Um, and what I explained to her was tapeworms, all right? Tapeworms are all natural. Uh, in fact, back there, I think, what was it, the 30s? My wife's sitting here with me. Back in like the 30s and the 40s, there was a big diet craze sweeping the nation where you could lose weight fast by using tapeworms, an all-natural form of losing weight. Um, and nowadays, you know, <laughs> when I'm getting near to 2020 now, it's 2019, you would think that people knew better than to put tapeworms in their body in order to lose weight. Um, you know, there's, there's all forms of pesticides that you can buy that are all natural. All right, chrysanthemums and marigolds are flowers that produce natural pesticides that actually are harmful to people when they're concentrated down. Um, they take pyrethrins, they're natural pesticides. They occur in flowers, um, trees, you know, produce these natural pesticides that they're designed to kill the bugs that attack these types of plants. If these plants did not produce the pesticide that they do, then the bugs would kill them. So they have to have it as a way of defense. Um, people have been using chrysanthemums and marigolds in their gardens since ancient Egypt. A lot of people jump on me when I go on about essential oils and how dangerous they are. Um, essential oils are not natural. Um, I know that's a big deal to people. People are like, oh no, they're so wonderful. They come from peppermint leaves or cinnamon or some kind of thing that grows out of the ground. But that doesn't mean it's natural. If you take a, a five gallon bucket full of peppermint leaves and then you consolidate it down to this little vial of oil, that's not natural. That's not a natural process that occurs in the environment normally. Um, it just do it doesn't happen without human intervention. And so to say that natural pesticides or natural ways of pest control are safer than pesticides is actually wrong. Um, there are very many pesticides in the world that you can pick from to use to eliminate your insect problem. Some pesticides are harmful to humans. Some pesticides won't hurt people at all. Uh, some pesticides will harm your pets. Some pesticides won't harm your pets. It's, it's very important that if you're worried about natural pest control and trying to be safe around your family and your pets or just yourself, I understand that, you know, you might just want to hire somebody. Um, I know it's not in everybody's budget to hire pest control, and I'm not here trying to sell pest control. But sometimes if you're really worried that you might hurt yourself with pesticides, it's better just to hire a professional. Um, they're licensed. Make sure they're licensed. Make sure they're insured. Don't just hire anybody that has a spray can and tells you they can kill your bugs because there are people like that, especially on like Facebook. I've noticed recently circulating around saying, oh yeah, we can kill your bugs. $75. We'll kill everything you got guaranteed for a year. Um, but really it's just Dale Gribble riding around with a big old B on the top of the car. You know, they're not really any kind of professional at all. 
You want somebody who knows what they're doing. You want somebody that could answer your questions. Um, but if you're wanting to do it yourself, then, you know, do your research. Watch my videos. I've got lots of videos. Do it yourself. I try, I, the, if I list a pesticide on my videos or in my comments, I feel that you're not really going to hurt yourself even if you mix it incorrectly. Um, I always tell people to mix to the label. Always follow the label. Always follow the directions. It's like trying to use a hammer to put a screw into a board. You know, the whole point is you need to use the proper tool and you need to use the tool correctly. Follow the directions on the label. It's there for a reason. And if you have a problem, I know the labels can be really confusing. Um, I've been trying to teach my son. I take my son with me and I teach him how to do uh, my job. I was learning this when I was like six, seven years old. So I've been doing this my whole life and he's 14. So I take him out and I teach him how to do it too. And I have to explain to him the label. I've had to explain several times, you know, you have to mix it this way. And for this bug, it has to be mixed this way. And this is the volume amount. And the reason that you have to mix it this way to kill spiders or this way to kill ants is because ants crawl on different different surfaces. They crawl in different areas than spiders. Spiders may be in soffits uh, away from humans. Um, ants may be in cracks and crevices around your countertop. You know, you don't want to get any kind of overspray and you want to do it this way and that way. And so there is some bit of understanding you need to have when reading the label. And so, like I said, if you really don't feel confident, <coughs> excuse me, if you really don't feel confident in your ability to be able to read and understand the label, then don't waste your money. You'd be better off hiring a professional. Uh, most pest control is actually very affordable. A lot of people think it's really expensive, but if you call a local business, most of the time you'll find that they're actually very competitive and very reasonably priced, and you're not going to spend an arm and a leg to you know, to get rid of your problem. And most problems can be solved with just one or two visits and you don't have to worry about signing, you know, a whole contract or anything like that. And I would, I would actually honestly be a little leery of contracts. I, I personally don't force contracts onto my customers. I offer promotions every now and then to see if people will sign a contract. But most of the time, I don't even require contracts. I feel like if people aren't high, happy with my service, then please <clears throat> hire somebody else. But, uh, you know, <coughs> excuse me, talk to me about it first. I try to make it work with you. You know, that's that's the way I do my business. Um, I know there's a lot of companies out there that do require contracts. Um, there are some things that I have required contracts for, like cockroaches and ants and things, because depending on if it's a nest in the house or something, you know, sometimes you have to have a contract just to ensure you can get rid of the problem. But um, usually those are paying in advance anyway. And so, you know, they're going to let you come if you pay in advance because they've already paid for the service. So just understand if you're, if you're really having a real hard time, um, understanding pesticides, uh, you know, by all means, ask me, I don't mind, you know, leave a comment below. I, I don't mind answering your questions. If you have, uh, you know, question about fleas or cockroaches or, you know, termites or anything like that, please don't hesitate to ask. I have no problem answering your questions. Um, I read every comment. Like I said, this video right here was actually inspired by a comment. I, uh, I get a lot of people asking me, especially because of my diatomaceous earth and my essential oil videos that I have on my channel. And if you're interested, please go check them out. I'll link them below in the description. But um, explaining why essential oils are dangerous, why you do not want to use them in your home as pesticides, uh, why you don't want to use things like, um, you know, Vicane and things like that. Yeah, I've got a video on that. Um, I've got lots of different informational videos on do-it-yourself pest control. So if you're really having a problem, don't hesitate to ask me. You might get a video. <laughs> you know, I might make one about it. So hopefully this has been uh, helpful to you. If you have any questions, like I said, don't hesitate to ask. Um, leave a comment. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you really like the video. You know, subscribe to my channel. I just and want to make uh, a comment. Oh, well, what's that? No natural form of pest control is 100% safe because even if you slap a bug, you could get stung. Oh, well, yeah. All right. She says, I don't know if you heard that or not, but no natural form of pest control is safe. Even if you slap a bug, you could get stung or bit. So, um, oh, and one, one thing I did want to mention too. Non-toxic or toxic 
All right, these are two words. I just want to insert this really quick. The way I define toxic, all right, is if it's poisonous enough to kill a bug, it's toxic. All right, if you take and you squirt essential oils around your house and they kill bugs, it's toxic. If you use pesticides around your house and it kills bugs, it's toxic. If you use, you know, there's a toxicity level that you have to go by when you're dealing with anything that kills anything. So just because it's labeled as natural doesn't mean it isn't toxic. So y'all have a real great day. I appreciate it. And Hopefully this will help you guys out. Thanks.